How do you do, everybody? Welcome to baseball action between the Highland Park Giants and the Wilmette Waves. And, boy, some you, sometimes you run into a game where there's something beyond the game of baseball that uh, is part of uh, the, the existence, uh, as it were. And certainly this game is one of them. Uh, I'm reminded in this game of a couple of other games that I've had where it seems like the game of baseball is almost secondary to the game of life. And uh, this is certainly one of those. New Trier community joins with the Highland Park community in mourning and in uh, trying to survive, in a sense, the horrors of what happened in uh, Highland Park just a couple of days ago. This is a truly a case where the game almost is secondary for our viewers outside of the Chicago area. Yeah, we have viewers from throughout the United States. Uh, Highland Park is the next community north from the New Trier Township. And the Wilmot Waves and uh, Highland Park. Highland Park is in our league, although they're in the other side of the conference. The uh, Central Suburban North, as compared to the Central Suburban South, but of course this is summer ball. Kelly, the batter. And, you know, I'm reminded in this game, ground ball foul, I'm reminded of this game of a couple of other games where I've had the same sort of feeling that you get. That is, uh, uh, thinking back to the, of to 9-11, Thinking back to a game, um, high school hockey game, where uh, accidental uh, death from uh, asphyxiation right before the state championship game. I remember the brother of the uh, player who died, Henry Smythe. From Maine South. And actually the mass shooting in Highland Park Ball Four. And Kelly aboard Piper the batter. Actually the Highland Park shooting does have a connection to both the Wilmot Waves and the uh, New Trier in that one of the seven killed at this broadcast was uh, an aunt of former Nutra player and was one of the initial players to play for uh, the Walmart Waves foul ball on the bond attempt. They've decided that they are going to play the doubleheader, but uh, they are actually uh, that scheduled part of the league. Island Park, uh, part of the same league, uh, the Connie Mack League with uh, Wilmette. But they're only going to play five innings per game here instead of the regular seven. And they're going to kind of have a get-together after the game. The Wilmot Dutra organization put up those uh, banners out there, uh, HP Strong, and we certainly fully support that.
as we said, Highland Park. But Nutra is the northeasternmost township in Cook County. And Highland Park is the southeasternmost community in Lake County. So basically, like where I grew up, I was walking distance to Highland Park. I lived in Glencoe growing up. Stolen base, runner at second. Flag flying at half staff for the Highland Park. Massacre victims. Foul ball. Windchill Wacker off behind us. And the pitch on the way. A little ground ball. Bobbled it a little bit. Through, not in time. We're going to make a strike. Line shot right to the third baseman. Take him for the out. So we're going to have a strike. Trevor Burns on the bound for the Wilmot Waves. You know, games like this, it's kind of like you want well, to play the game, but you don't. High bounder, third baseman. Over to first in time, and the inning. Killian out. And we go to the bottom half of the first. No score. Between the Highland Park Giants, Highland Park, Illinois, and the Wilmot Waves. Aiden Nolan, Lady it on. Strike on the outside corner, strike one. Unlike uh, our regular games during the summer where we kind of hold on to them a little bit. This one we decided to uh, put up on the network right away, obviously, for for the reasons of uh, the mass shooting. Our, we, our, one of our cable affiliates is the, is in Highland Park, so there was a reason we're at least partly doing this. Foul ball. Fly ball out to right. And that's going to get beyond the right fielder. Bounces to the fence, and Nolan on his way to third. And Aiden Nolan in with a triple. And Evan Olusker, the batter. And strike. You're going to see a lot of things flying in front of us here. It's actually barn swallows. They've got a nest in the Nutra dugout. 
and they're kind of waiting to try and get in to, to feed the young and with all the new drip players in the dugout they can't get in and they're squawking and causing a commotion which is high ball and you know what uh, one of the things also about uh, about this is uh, we've dealt with Issues like this before, it's not the first time the North Shore is dealt with mass casualties events. There's a fly ball and out beyond the right fielder and a Lusker on his way to third and he's going to have a triple. So he and uh, Nolan, Aiden Nolan, changed places. So we're going to miss strike. Trey Myers, the batter. We dealt with it with Lori Dan. Dealt with it with Benjamin Smith. Ball gets away and trotting home is Olesker. In a way, we kind of dealt with it with uh, Stephen Burrow. Winchell Wacker back behind us. Ball low and outside. Pitches high of all. And ball four. And Trey Myers draws a walk. John Hatzis is the batter. Pitches high a ball. Summer baseball, summer league. Abreu on the mound for Highland Park. And a wake up call back towards us. As we said, uh, we're only playing five innings. The Wilmette Highland Park group going to have a pizza party after the game. Low and outside of all. You saw there twice the swallows fly into the screen. And ball four. Hatsa straws a walk. And a ball. Aiden Nicholson. And strike. Nicholson the batter. Go to first, and they got Hatsis. First out of the inning. 55 foot, well, a wild pitch. It wasn't a 55 footer, but a wild pitch. Moving the runner along to third. Rumble. 
Third baseman has it. Throws the first in time. Allowing the third run of the inning to come home. And it's 3 0. Well, Matt. Here's Charlie Wansberg. Wansenberg. And ground ball. Right to the first baseman. Bob a little bit. Plenty of time. And we're done with the first inning. And Wilmette leading Island Park by the score of three to nothing. Wolf the batter. So we're gonna miss strike. I think that was what it was. I was just I'm looking somewhere else. And a strike. One and one. Make it. Duke Childs Field and Winneka. A strike on the inside corner. I've done a lot of games at Allen Park High School. Football, basketball, baseball. Used to work some of the games at Highland Park Baseball. Foul ball. I'm not sure if. Not sure exactly when I stopped doing the new tr the uh, Highland Park games. Strike three. More of the batter. No strike. Burns delivers. We got a bit strike. Tough. Hennigan and Austin Brown do up in the bottom half of the second. And strike three. Two up, two down. More of the batter. And a ball. Fifty five footer mountain. Yeah, strike my head outside. Uh, up uh, up around the letters, strike. So we're going to be a strike. Metro Chicago Sports Network on the cable on the internet. Ball four. And the walk. Kasdan, the batter. And ground ball. Slow roller, pitcher, over, underhands it in time to Burns to Myers for the out. And we go to the bottom of the second. Ben Toft will lead it off. There's the A. H.B. Strong. Yes, we certainly feel and join with the city of Highland Park. Those killed and those injured. So we're going to miss strike. One 
one of the things I also wanted to mention about all of this was uh, the tremendous support. You know, when you consider many of these communities are a well, ground ball, shortstop, go to first down in time and off the board via the single. Patrick Hennigan, the batter. And when you consider that, you know, these towns and the cities and so forth here on the North Shore are all, uh, you know, Highland Park's 30,000, you know, well, Mets 25,000, but we've got 9,000, 10,000, 5,000 in some of these communities. And uh, how quickly the mass casualty system Oh, great play. Got him. Pitcher Abreu with the great play. Runners at second and third. Sam Nigro, the batter. You know how greatly they uh, went to the aid. How quickly. I mean, as far away as from Waukegan to Evanston, Vernon Hills, I mean, Glenco, Winneka, Kellenworth, Glenco, literally within five minutes, they descended on Highland Park. And, uh, Rapidly, we're sending uh, the casualties to uh, Evanston Hospital. Here's the play of the plate. They got him. How rapidly they were sending the uh, casualties to Glenbrook Hospital, Lake Forest Hospital, Evanston Hospital, Glen and, of course, Highland Park. Now, the system, mass casualty uh, system, worked so effectively. I mean, it was phenomenal how well they, they did work together. There's a strike. Got the ball inside. Evan Olesker, the batter. And ground ball. Flip to second for the fielder's choice. And that'll do it for the inning. But the Waves did pick up a run off uh, Patrick Hennigan. Scoring. And it's now 4 to nothing in favor of Wilmette over Highland Park. And uh, leading it off is uh, Page. Here's a strike. New pitcher on the mound. And Tommy Hartman. Here's a strike. High bounder. And the throw and th threw it away. And the single in the air puts Page aboard. Kelly the batter. Near strike. These uniforms of Highland Park, <laughs> I've, 
I've had problems with them for a number of years. Foul ball. You, you can see the problem here. I don't need to announce what it is. I Ground ball. Third baseman has a long throw. Not in time. Throw back over. Not in time. Oh. Take that back. It was in time. Uh, to first. So Page at third with one out. And Piper, the batter. Fall the weight. Squibber, ground ball, foul. Gray, cloudy day. Another one fouled off. New Trier in Holland Park. New Trier Township in Holland Park, ground ball. Short stop over to first in time for the out. And they concede the run. And it's three to one. Brilliant, the batter. Low and outside a ball. Little foul tip. Strike. Connie Mack baseball. Wilmette and Highland Park. Illinois. Ball four. And Burlian draws the walk and gusses the batter. And strike. I think he also got a little piece of that. Sounded like it. A little tick in there before it hit the mitt. Hartman and Watsonberg. There goes the runner and stolen base. Second stolen base of the ball game for the Highland Park Giants. Little bounder, little comebacker. Over to first in time for the out. And we go to the bottom half for the third. I mentioned it earlier, but I want to mentioned again we're only playing five innings just to make sure we play the games today two days after the mass shooting in Highland Park Illinois ground ball the third and a whoopsie error and Trey Myers aboard John Hatsitz, the batter. And yeah, strike. We have an umpire lost to that in uh, action here. Disappeared at the end of the inning. 
And ball. So we only got one umpire, and he's out there where you can see him. So we're going to miss straight. That just walked his last time up. Throw the first runner back. Like I said, I've worked a few games where fly ball. Yeah, foul. Worked a few games like this where it's almost like the game is secondary. Very difficult to announce a game without... Uh, Emotion, as it were. Fly ball out to the left. Take him for the out. One away. Aiden Nicholson, the batter. Yeah, fall ball. Now, I remember the new Trier Deerfield game. Back in uh, 2001, the um, game right after the 9-11 game. It was the 9-11 game. 2-3 on the put out for Nicholson, and on the play over the second goes Myers. Here's Charlie Wansenberg. We had postponed that game, and then... Long ceremony, as I remember, before the game. Fly ball out to center. Take him for the out. And that'll do it. We go to the fourth inning. And it is four to one in favor of the Wilmot Waves over the Highland Park Giants. Here's Killian. Fly ball. And on the giddy up, uh, taking it out there is Aiden Nolan for out number one. Here's a Brayu batting for Wolf. Got a little bit of a breeze blowing in today. Kind of off Lake uh, Michigan. There's strike. So we're going to miss strike. For those of my viewers who are from out of the Chicago area, you have to explain a little bit about what, how close we are here community-wise. North from Chicago, you have Evanston, then Wilmette, Kenilworth, Winnetka, Glencoe, and then Highland Park. Highwood, and Fort Sheridan, in that order. And that covers northeasternmost Cook County and southeasternmost Lake County. And Hunnam Park is the southeasternmost part of uh, Lake County. And Glencoe, the northeasternmost community in Cook County. This Womat team has players from Glencoe. And of course, Highland Park is Highland Park team. They, come, they all come out of Highland Park High School. 
Oh, straight. Two out. More of the batter. Crumble. Third. Picking it up, throw, and on the tag by Trey Myers. Three up and three down for Holland Park in the top of the fourth. Go to the bottom half of the frame, and uh, Ben Tuft will lead it off. Yeah, ball outside, I guess. And round ball. Second baseman has it. Throws not in time. And they call that an infield single, I guess. Patrick Hennigan, the batter. Strike on the outside corner to Hennigan. He singled and scored his last time up. A whoopsie swing fouled off. Open inside a ball. Down low ball. Austin Brown on deck. Yeah, gonna drop in for the base hit. Out in right field. Got a sun blown single in a sense. Austin Brown, the batter. Little outside and low. Ball. In up high a ball. And line shot. That's a base hit to right. And Austin having a little trouble getting down the baseline. He's had some ankle issues. Bases are loaded. And Ligro down the line. That's a fair ball. And that's going to go for a double. And score a couple. Back to the top of the batting order, and Aiden Nolan falls one off. With the umpire not having a ball holder out there. Took a little while to find one. Whoopsie, and that'll score a run. I'm surprised they even let uh, Austin Brown run with that uh, sore ankle. Throw to third, runner back. And ground ball. And again, a little whoopsie, and it's going to work. Score a run. Fourth run of the inning. Throw the first runner back. Trey Myers, the batter.
Dre's shown some signs of power during the summer. Young player. Going to be a sophomore next year. Fouled up. I know I'm getting old. Not only do I have a uh, double legacy playing right now, swing out of a strike. With the incoming freshman. Will be what, 60, 60 years since I graduated high school? Strike three. Trey Frailer out. Mm, let's see. Yeah, 60 years. 4 6 3 on the double play ends the inning. And the Waves now lead at 8 to 1 as we go to the 7th. And Kasdan will lead it off. The seventh, I said, the fifth, but it's the same thing. And they're straight. And our plate, home plate umpire has miraculously reappeared. Not so miraculously, I suppose. You gotta stay stay away from those curry lunches <laughs> inside the ball. Eh, you still gotta have some fun, you know. And foul ball. And again, low and inside the ball. And fall back. Caden Carpenter now on the mound. Third pitcher for the... Will my waves today? And found the way. And fly ball. Gonna give it a little giddy up and the Third baseman takes it in foul territory for all number one. Here's Hendricks. And falls one off. And ground ball. Second baseman first, two out. And Page the batter with the last chance for the Highland Park Giants. And the ball, a little outside. Fouled up. Go by a ball.
Bowden won a high ball. Wind blowing straight in. Fall off. And strike three and didn't know it. Didn't know the ball was dropped. He's still going to try to go to first. They'll throw over there, and that'll do it for the ball game. For the Wilbur Ways, eight runs, nine hits, one error. They were struck out one time, walked two, four left on base, and one stolen base. For the Highland Park, Illinois Giants, one run on one hit, three errors. They were struck out five times, walked three times, three left on base, and two stolen bases. Highland Park strong, buddy. It's still Highland Park strong, and for all of us, we say as always, thanks for watching, and so long, Gavra, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the broadcast, and uh, our heart goes out to Highland Park, Illinois. This has been a Metro Chicago Sports Network copyrighted presentation, all rights reserved.